Yeah. 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 Going for one o'clock right now in the morning. <sighs> it's been a long day, but this is life at the airport. <laughs> it's quiet, it's boring, it's not much to do but to walk around. Um, yeah, this is how it is during COVID. So it's quite different. Actually, it was my first time flying out since the pandemic. So yeah, it was just a wow, you know, all the processes, the forms you have to fill in, um, the security checks and so on. But yeah, guys, this is it. I guess this is my attempt at making a vlog, I guess. <laughs> so bear with me. <laughs> but um, yeah, catch you on the flip side. It's the zooming effect for me, you guys. Now, nothing special here, but I came across this drink and I had seen it in like a couple of American films. And so I tried it out and the verdict is, uh-uh. And so it must have been around like one o'clock somewhere there. And so I was bored. At this point in time, I was just tired of walking around. I just wanted to sit down. Now I saw this, you know, this, this flight attendants, the pilots walking across and for me, it reminded me a bit of my childhood. You know, I was always like intrigued by the whole, you know, the briefcase, the walking. Like I said, this is going to be a very random blog and a part in the commentary, but I'm still getting used to this. Yeah, I still have to eat to one to point, so pray for me. Soon after that, I changed my mind and thought, hey, let me give you guys a tour. Anyway, let's go have a tour. Finally, I got onto the plane and by this time, I was starving my little behind. Now, let's talk about the meal because that meal was tiny. That meal was a bit disappointing, if I have to say. So, yeah, I know Kenyan Airways can do better than that because that was not nice at all. It was literally two samosas, one meatball and some other thing. I don't even know what it is. But as always, I have a juice and I have water with me on the side to drink. But yeah, I know it was, it was really disappointing. A couple of hours later and a touchdown in Nairobi. I was so happy to be on ground because it was really tiring for me at that point. So I was happy to see the sun. And I was the last to off board. Is it off board or to get off the plane? So I was just pleased. But then again, I had to wait some time. 
So, but yeah, we'll get into that. First thing I did when I got off is I needed to get some chow, okay? I was really hungry. Those two samosas did nothing for me. I'm a big girl, so I needed something big. So anyway, I found this cute place. It was close to where they um, exchange money. It's at the Baru de Change. I sat down. I liked it. And I had some chai and some French toast. That French toast, you guys. It was so nice. I just wanted some more, but I had some time just to relax my body, stretch a bit, and then afterwards I took a walk. Next stop, Accra. Okay, at this point we were descending into Accra and already I could feel the humid air. You could literally feel it from up there. But I was tired. I just wanted to get to where I was meant to go. Final stop, Lungi International Airport, Sierra Leone. Now I was just tired at this point in time. Now the fun interesting thing is that when you get to the airport, you can't directly go into Freetown. So we took a ferry into Freetown and that was an experience of its own. This is Aberdeen. Yeah, yeah this is Aberdeen. I haven't been this side actually. I should have come this side. Yeah. By the time I got home, it must have been like 12 a.m. the next day. So I was hanging on like a two hours rest at that point in time. So I was just tired. That's why I couldn't fool you guys in. But I hope you've enjoyed this mini vlog for now. And I will give you guys a story time into what happened when I got into the airport. There was a whole bunch of drama there with vaccinations and so on and so on but i hope to see you guys again and if you enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up and bye for now